Hey everybody, check it out. So this thing that I have here is typically referred to casually as a desert rose. This is basically the way that several different minerals form and sort of tabular crystals that radiate around kind of a nucleus point. And so they make this shape that looks a heck of a lot like a rose. That's why they're called desert roses. They're also referred to sometimes as selenite roses. You might see them like that. Selenite is a pretty clear form of gypsum. So yeah, you can have gypsum or selenite roses and you can have barite roses. And those are the two main minerals that typically form desert roses. So I was on the hunt for some desert roses and I have a couple of spots that I like to go rock hound for them. And um, I found, I find a lot that are about this size, right? So a lot are pea size, thumb size. This one's a little bigger than that. But let's look at the different ones that I have. So we got that one. Here's another variety that I've found that's in my collection. And as you can see, a little bigger, kind of a little different design there. Um, the way that the crystals are not as thick. And that is just different formation and different minerals will form differently. So gypsum sometimes will be um, thinner and form roses that look a little more like this. And sometimes when the gypsum is a little more pure, you might get a little more of a clear desert rose. So, so yeah, so this one's bigger than the other one, right? And it looks a little different. So there's the two again, a different size. But then I came across this one. So this one is massive. So this goes down as the biggest desert rose that I've ever found. This one's huge. Super cool. Um, pretty heavy too. <laughs> So, basically, the desert roses, like I said, they come in all these different sizes. But they can also come in, like, a singular form, like this one. This one rose. Um, or they can be in clusters when you find them. And, you know, it's possible that some of these that were, are singular, now were in a cluster and they eroded out. But sometimes they're actually just basically cemented together in these cool-looking, like, rose clusters. Uh, that's a pretty common thing out of Oklahoma, the rose clusters from there and some other places around the world. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you today the biggest desert rose that I've ever found. So here it is. It's like um, basically in the palm of my hand there. Pretty big. If you want to learn more about desert roses, some of the minerals I've talked about today just in passing check out my minerals playlist or some of the other geo adventures uh, that I've done here at Let's Go Geo. I talk in detail about all the minerals and the mineral properties so you know what to look for if you want to go rock hounding for them and maybe hone your skills on where you can find them. And if you just want to go on the next geo adventure with me in the field and just sub or come back here to Let's Go Geo and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.